and not that long ago, a 10-year-old with Down syndrome was in all likelihood denied the chance to ever play. It's a simple, profoundly disturbing and incredibly painful idea. Timothy P. Shriver is a social leader, educator, activist, film producer, and chairman and CEO of Special Olympics. Son of Eunice Kennedy Shriver and Sergeant Shriver, their cause started very small. We had a camp at my parents' house. My mother ran a camp. She called it Camp Shriver. And the uh, campers came in yellow school buses for the most part. And they came largely from institutions. They came from places that today would be considered inhumane. Uh, they came without parents. They came without family members. And they came largely because there was nowhere else for them to go. If they wanted to swim in a swimming pool, or kick a kickball, or ride a pony, or run a race, there was nowhere. A simple effort that became the largest movement for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in the world. I want to offer you the chance to play, or go to school, or be friends with one of the 200 million people on Earth who have an intellectual disability. I guarantee you that you will never go back. One of the great sadnesses of this work is to go from country to country, city to city, community to community, and find so few people who care. It's not just breaking down the physical walls of separation or bias, not just the institutions, not just the schoolhouse walls, but the walls within ourselves, the walls within our hearts and minds. I know I'm not. In his 14 years at the helm of Special Olympics, Tim has added two million new athletes worldwide. And today, the organization touches three and a half million participants with intellectual and developmental disabilities in more than 170 countries. Nelson Mandela, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Bertie Ahern, Thabo Mbeki, Rafi Harari, Hosni Mubarak, and Shimon Perez have all followed Tim's lead to advocate acceptance, inclusion, and proper health treatment for people with disabilities. For a person with Down syndrome, the doctor's office has not been a place where there's been much to offer. It's been a place where people have largely said, geez, I'm sorry, good luck. With the foundation's work, we can look to a future where the doctor's office will be a place where doctors will have a whole toolkit of resources to support and enhance the quality of life of that person. Tim has even harnessed the celebrity of Steven Spielberg and our own Quincy Jones. You know, Quincy Jones is a legend in so many ways. For 30 years, the Special Olympics movement, uh, quietly uh, but powerfully, has been powered by Quincy's gifts. We have music that we have sold in, in, in record stores and on the internet that Quincy composed, that Quincy brought to life, that has allowed us to start summer camps in Kenya, that's allowed us to open a new office in Kabul, Afghanistan, It's allowed us to add hundreds and hundreds of thousands of mothers and fathers and athletes to our movement in places like rural India where there is nothing, but Quincy's been there. The guy has a gift for music, but it comes from a heart that's bigger than any music he's ever made. A staunch advocate for the differently abled, in 2010, Tim launched a campaign to end the R word, and he's launched numerous programs that enhance the dignity and lives of people with developmental disabilities, including those with Down syndrome. There are a thousand things the C's could do and the Wittens could do, but they've chosen the thing that matters to them, obviously because of their family, but matters to so many others, and they've chosen to put themselves into it fully. If we think that we started at a place where the average person with an intellectual disability was so dehumanized as to be thought unworthy of even the chance to play as a child, to a place where a person with Down syndrome can sparkle in front of a crowd, can recite in front of a school, can work in front of a, a, a group of peers, and you smile and say, there goes a great example of a human being. That change is uh, something we can all be proud of. In recognition of his amazing contributions, the Global Down Syndrome Foundation is proud to present Tim Shriver 
with the 2010 Quincy Jones Exceptional Advocacy Award.